Hello, this is Mrs. Butcher, and this video is all about complex rational expressions. So here's a complex fraction for you. We have 4 plus 1 half in the numerator and 3 fourths minus 3 halves in the denominator. So all you have to do to simplify this is do the numerator, get it to one fraction, do the denominator, get it to one fla flaction, fraction, and then flip and multiply. So if we do 4 plus 1 half, we have to change the 4 to 8 halves, and 8 halves plus 1 half gives you 9 halves. So the numerator is 9 halves. And then the denominator, we're going to have to change this 3 halves um, to have a common denominator of 4, so 6 fourths. 3 fourths minus 6 fourths is negative 3 fourths. So we have this divided by this. So now all we have to do, we've simplified the numerator, we're going to flip and multiply. Multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. You always flip the bottom one, don't flip the top one. So now we've got 9 times 4 is 36. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and then we can simplify from there because 36 divided by negative 6 is negative 6. All right, now we're going to do one that has variables in it. So we've got k plus 1 over k minus 2, and then all divided by k squared over k minus 2 plus 1. So what I'm going to do to solve this is I'm going to simplify the numerator, I'm going to simplify the denominator, and then I'm going to multiply the top by the reciprocal of the bottom. Now, whenever we're doing the complex, we have to think along the whole way while we're working this. We can't divide by 0. So if you look at this, this original problem, I can't have a zero here, I can't have a zero here, and this entire denominator can't be zero. So I already know k can't be two. I'm also going to need to set this equal to zero, but I'm going to wait until after I've simplified it. All right, so when we simplify the numerator, we're going to have to multiply that k by a k minus two top to bottom and then 1 over k minus 2 so that I have a common denominator and that's going to be, I'll go ahead and distribute this k up here k squared minus 2k plus 1 all over k minus 2 and then this denominator here I am going to multiply the 1 by k minus 2 over k minus 2 so that I have a common denominator and I get k squared plus k minus 2 all over k minus 2. All right, now we need to factor. So k squared, I'm looking at um, this right here. k squared minus 2k plus 1 is k minus 1 times k minus 1. That's all over k minus 2. And then this is, um, let's see, I'm going to flip and multiply. So I'm going to put my k minus 2 here. And k squared plus k minus 2 is k plus 2 and k minus 1. Now remember, we said this, which is this, can't be 0, right? So I know, okay, None of it can really be zero, like this can't be zero, and this can't be zero, and this can't be zero. None of it can be zero because I can't have a zero underneath it, and I can't have a zero in the top of it. And then, of course, that can't be zero either. So when I solve this, I say, okay, well, I can cross out a set of k minus ones. I can cross out a set of k minus twos. And my final answer is going to be k minus 1 over k plus 2. That's simplified as long as k does not equal, and we can't have 2, or negative 2, or 1. None of those. So there's our answer. All right, here's another one for us to practice. 1 over xy minus 1 over y squared, all over 1 over x squared y minus 1 over xy squared. So this looks 
hugely complicated, but it's really not so bad. We're, because we're going to separate it, just the numerator and then just the denominator. All right, in the numerator, 1 over xy minus 1 over y squared. So our common denominator is going to need to have an x and two y's in it. So I'm going to have y over xy squared, because I multiplied the top and bottom by y, minus x over xy squared, because I multiplied that top and bottom by x. That gives me y minus x over xy squared. Now for the, the denominator, I need two x's and I need two y's. I need x squared, y squared. So this first fraction I need to multiply by y over y and I get y over x squared, y squared. And the second one I'm going to need to multiply by x over x so that I have x over x squared, y squared. So that equals y minus x over x squared, y squared. Okay, so now remember none of this can be zero, so x can't be zero and y can't be zero. Um, and y minus x can't be zero either. Alright, so when we flip and multiply, we take the first fraction, y minus x over xy squared times x squared y squared over y minus x. And we're going to cross out the y minus x's. And we are going to say, okay, look, x can't be y, right? x can't be 0. x can't be, I mean, y can't be 0. And x and y cannot equal each other. Oops, cross out, cross out, cross out. x cannot equal y. Otherwise, y minus x will give us 0. So now that we've done that, we can also cross out one set of x's like that. And I can cross out all the y squareds. And if I have nothing on top, that does not mean I have 0 on top. When things cancel out, they leave a 1. And then when I have nothing on bottom, um, oh, I do have something on top. Forgive me. I have that. So neatness is, is worthwhile, isn't it? Um, so we don't have 1. We have x on top. Now on the bottom, we have nothing left. So we have 1. So it just equals x but it equals x as long as x is not 0, and y is not 0, and x is not y. Okay, I have one more example, and this time I'm going to do this a different way. Um, I have another method that you can use to solve these, and you don't have to use either one. You can pick the one you like. Um, method, the first method, flip and multiply, is probably easier, but sometimes it takes longer. This method, if, if you're good at math and you understand fractions and this is simple for you, then by all means use this method. So before we were simplifying the top, simplifying the bottom, and then flipping and multiplying. When we do this, we're going to find a lowest common denominator for the entire thing. Meaning, I'm going to look at the, numer or the denominator up here and here and here, and find a lowest common denominator that goes with all of those denominators. So, of course, the first thing we want to do is factor the top, and we've got 2x over. Now, x squared plus 4x plus 3 is going to be x plus 1, x plus 3, which makes our life a little easier because that's what's in the bottom, so that is our lowest common denominator. Our LCD lowest common denominator will be x plus 1 and x plus 3. So now you take that lowest common denominator and you're going to multiply the top and the bottom of the main fraction. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to take this 2x over x plus 1, x plus 3. It's all over 4 over x plus 3 plus 2 over x plus 1. So there's the original problem. I'm going to multiply this by x plus 1 x plus 3, and put it over 1 if it makes you feel better, and I'm going to multiply this times x plus 1 and x plus 3 over 1 if you need to. So now, when I go across the numerator, all of this stuff cancels out and I get 2x. And when I look at the denominator, I have to do it separately. I'm going to multiply 4 over x plus 3 
this times this, and the x plus 3's will cancel out in that one, and I have 4x plus 1 left, and then when I multiply this times this, the x plus 1's will cancel, the plus goes, and then I have 2x plus 3. So that's 4x plus 4 plus 2x plus 6, which is 6x plus 10. So I'm running out of space here, but my numerator is 2x, and my denominator is 6x plus 10. Let me see if I can move this screen a little bit. Aha, I can. So I have 2x over, and then I'm going to factor a 2 out of this, um, 2 times 3x plus 5. And then I can cancel out these 2's, and so my final answer is x over 3x plus 5. As long as x does not equal, and we know it can't be negative 1 or negative 3, that was in our denominator, and it also can't be, um, when I set this equal to 0, I can't have negative 5 thirds either negative five-thirds. So there's our final answer. X is three over, X over three X plus five, but X can't be negative one or negative three or negative five-thirds. And that's it folks. That's our three examples for you tonight and that's it. Y'all have a good one. Bye.